The Honda CB750 was first shown in the UK in 1969 at the International Motorcycle Show. That was right here, in Brighton. This CB750 wears the same distinctive gold paintwork seen on the prototype launch bike. One of the other bikes went on to further shows in Europe, but the gold one was used for the first road tests and was later sold to the Earl of Denby to become known as the Brighton Bike. This CB750 is back at home in the city where it first made that planet-shaking impact on the motorcycle world. It's a well-known story, but even 60 years on, it's hard to overstate the significance of the CB750. In the late 60s, you basically had three choices as a biker. Compact, fizzy little bikes from Japan, big bad boys from Milwaukee, or really temperamental twins from Britain. Then came the Honda CB750. It was a technological tour de force with a front disc brake and a powerful 68 horsepower four-cylinder engine that topped out at 125 miles an hour. And it could do that over and over and over again. It's the same basic engine configuration that dominates the market today. In fact, the market was never the same again after the CB750 launched. The Triumph Trident and BSA Rocket 3, both 750cc triples, did beat the CB750 into the US as Honda's Bob Hansen had predicted, but the Honda had a disc brake, electric start, and a five-speed box with left side shift, which were all really popular with the US customers, and it cost a whole lot less. There wasn't a single thing that killed the great British motorcycle industry, but the biggest thing was the 754. The cat was out of the bag and it completely changed customer expectations. Honda's surviving rivals were forced to accept that the bar had been permanently raised. So what's the CB750 actually like to ride now? Well, that bar is still really high. As this cranberry red, slightly later K1 shows, it's just as much at home cruising through Brighton as it is on the back roads. It's just so smooth and usable. And when you twist that throttle, you can feel that it's a proper superbike. The term actually invented to describe the CB750. When the prototype gold Brighton bike was first shown at the Metropole Hotel, the world was introduced to the original modern superbike. Was it really that big of a deal though? Well, the original Brighton bike recently sold at auction for over 160,000 pounds, the highest price ever achieved for a Japanese motorcycle. That pretty much says it all.